Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of complex numbers. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here with respect to this topic, the question tells us that a set is present which has real part of an expression. And if I talk about the expression that is given, it is z minus z dash plus z into z dash on 2 minus 3z plus 5 into z. So this is our entire expression given. And it's told to me that z belongs to a complex number. Further, we have been also told that real part of z is equal to 3. So this is our entire set. This is equal to interval alpha beta, where it is a closed interval with respect to beta, but an open interval with respect to alpha means the values of real part of this entire expression will be greater than alpha, but lesser than or equal to beta. So let's figure out that later. And we have been asked to find the value of 24 times beta minus alpha. So we need to figure out the value of this expression. And if I solve the question here, the options given to us are 36, 27, 42, 4. So we need to figure out which of the following four options is the correct one. So we need to figure out the value of this entire expression. Let's first solve this idea and get the values of alpha and beta. So first thing it's told to me that real part of the complex number is equal to 3. And we already know that a complex number is always denoted by x plus i y, where x is your real part and y which is present with i. That's an imaginary number, so it's called as imaginary part. Here we have been told that real part of z is 3, so our complex number z becomes 3 plus i. If z is 3 plus i y, z dash, which is conjugate of 3 plus i y, it becomes 3 minus i. Now, once you have z and z dash both with, if you take the product of them, it becomes 3 plus i y into 3 minus i y that becomes a square minus b square so 9 minus i square y square i square we already know it is minus 1 so 9 plus y square so this is your value of z into z dash now if i figure out first of all this expression which is given to us z minus z dash plus z into z dash upon 2 minus 3z plus 5z Let's first figure out the value of this expression. Then we'll take out from this the real part of the entire expression which we get. So here z is 3 plus i y minus 3 minus i y plus this is 9 plus y square. 2 minus 3 into 3 plus i y. If I solve this expression, 3 plus i y minus 3 plus i y plus 9 plus y square. So 3 and minus 3 gets cancelled out. Here you get it as 2 minus 9 minus 3 i y plus 15 minus 4. So if I solve this further expression, I get this 9 plus y square plus 2iy. Here you get this as 15 minus 9, that is 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 and minus 8. So you have this entire expression. If I further write it down, I get y square plus 9 plus 2iy. Denominator I have here. 8 and minus 8y. So 8 if I take out common it one minus. Now in the denominator, I know don't need a complex number. I need to free it from the complex number that is imaginary number. So I'll multiply with the conjugate of 1 minus i y. 
So I get this expression turning out y square plus 9 plus i y into y square plus 9 plus 2iy plus 2i square y square or 8 and this becomes a minus b into a plus b which is again a square minus b square. So further you get this as y square plus 9 and 2i square becomes i square is minus 1 so it makes it minus 2 pi square. So y square minus y square plus 9 minus 2 pi square plus imaginary part with y cube plus 9 pi plus 2. <laughs> the whole thing will be this becomes i square is minus 1. So that becomes minus of minus one one plus so plus plus. Now we have this entire term simplified with us. Now if I just find the real part of that entire expression, z minus z dash plus z into z dash on two minus three z plus five. So if I just find the real part of this entire expression, the real part here, if I see, this is your real part. And this which is present with i becomes your imaginary part. So I just need to figure out the value of the real part. So real part is this. If I write it down, I get that y square plus 9 minus 2 y square for 8 into 1 plus y square. So further, if I try to solve this, I get this simplified as 9 minus y square, 8, 1 plus y square. So if I try to simplify it further, I can write this as, if I want to convert it in terms of 1 plus y square here, I can write that as adding 1 here and subtracting 1. So if I add 1, 9 plus 1 becomes 10, minus sign if I am taking common, it becomes y square plus 1 upon 8 y square plus 1. So you get this entire expression. Now once I get this entire expression, we have to find the value of that. So 1 by 8, this becomes, if I separate the denominator y square plus 1 here, it becomes 10 upon y square plus 1. So this is the entire expression which we have got after simplifying this. We need to figure out the value of this entire expression. Let's first start with y square. We know that y can be anything but the square of anything would be always greater than or equal to 0. Right? It can be either 0 or it can be any positive value. So I get y square. The range of y square will be anything from 0 to infinity. So because of that, 1 plus y square will become 1 plus 0. So it will be having the range of 1. And infinity plus 1. So it's again an infinite value. If I take the reciprocal of that. So 1 upon 1. The maximum value will now become 1. And 1 upon just a value less than infinity tells us that it will have a value greater than 0. So I understand that it becomes an open interval and it becomes a closed interval here. Now I have 1 upon 1 plus y square. If I multiply both sides by 10, 10 upon 1 plus y square. That makes our interval as. 10 into 0, which is again 0. And this becomes 1 into 10, the maximum value. Now further, if I find it out, I have to subtract it from 1. So 10 upon 1 plus y square minus 1. Now the range satisfying this expression becomes 0 minus 1, which is just greater than minus 1. And 10 minus 1, which is 9. So it's equal to 9 and it's greater than minus 1. So the range of values are greater than minus 1 and equal to 9. And one more thing I have to do here is I have to multiply the entire expression by 1 by 8. So if I multiply this entire expression by 1 by 8, our values here change from minus 1 to minus 1 by 8. And the maximum value also changes from 9. So I get this values here. 
we have been told that real value of this entire expression which was a complex expression that comes in the range of open interval of alpha and closed interval of beta so this was in the interval of alpha and beta so if i compare it with the expression which we have got here this is alpha given this is beta if i compare it i get from this idea that alpha is minus 1 by 8 and beta is 9 once I have the two values here, I just need to figure out the expressions value that is asked for. We have been asked to find 24 beta minus alpha, that is 24. Beta is given to us, that is 9 by 8, minus, minus 1 by 8. So you get this 24 into 10 by 8. So that comes out to become 30. So 30 is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. And if you see the option that matches your question is option D. So I get the correct answer for the question which is given to us here. And the question has the correct answer. So D is the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So we just need to put here a complex number for Z. We were given the real part as 3. We further solve the expression. Simplified that expression to get the real part as this entire thing. Once we got this real part, we figured out this and then we just converted it in a form of this. And then we figured out the range of values which will satisfy this entire expression. And we got that as minus 1 by 8 and 9 by 8. That gave us alpha and beta's value as minus 1 by 8 and 9 by 8. Once we got those two values, we just put in the expression that was asked for us to calculate. And once we got that, we got the answer that turns out to be option D. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue the series of questions on JWE mains, as well as some questions will be taken from 11th and 12th standard as well. So stay tuned for the videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of GDP means as well as the questions. Thank you.